Christian media. Can you feel the power? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? All right, y'all. Welcome to Late Night Reservers Live with my friends, the ladies of Christian Radio. Starting up with Paula G, the voice. And we got a fantastic interview. That's right, we got a fantastic interview for you tonight. That's right, with Dr. Paul, the Dean Kelly. That's right, a PTI International. That's right, Bible College. He's here to talk all about it. Man down. All right, let's get the show on the road. What's going on, Paula G, the voice, TV host, national, international? What's up? What's up? Life is good. I cannot complain. How are you, Batman? Batman feeling good. That's right. Yeah, I guess so. Batman got a birthday coming up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Batman. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> birthday on Monday. We're starting to celebrate yeah. this weekend. Do my team play Absolutely. Sunday? Absolutely. You know, do my team play Sunday? I always, I always like to start off with a win in the NFL. Baltimore Ravens. Hey. That's right. The Ravens. That's right. Who are we playing on? I, re- I remember team. the Ravens back in the day. That's right. That's right. They got the swag. They got this swag on. Uh-huh. That's right. Come they're gonna back. do a little. They're gonna do a little something, something. That's right. They got them young boys. That's right. They're ready to play like <laughs> Raven. That's right. All right. So everything good. The season is in? upon us. Hmm. I said the season is upon us. Yeah, that's right. We looked at a little bit of the Eagles and the and Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta played yesterday. That's right. They dropped the egg. Yeah, there, you know. Did they drop an egg? They- did they what? Did they lose? I don't think they did. I think they did. They was playing pretty you... bad. They couldn't get in the end zone. Can't win. They were warming up. Get in the end zone. I don't know. They were warming up. They were warming up. up. How's baby girl doing? Ooh. Well, we haven't heard from her in a couple of days. <laughs> she don't text us back. <laughs> My wife got making an appointment. That, that's normal. Yeah, we hear from her since Wednesday. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That's normal. When they go to school, they go, they go, go. Until they need money, we pray here. We pray here. And then you get the phone call when she's at Walmart. That's when we yeah. hear from her. <laughs> yeah. They go go until you need money, and then you're gonna get you know. But it's a setup. You know, it's a gradual. It'll be like, hey, daddy, what's what's you up to? What's going? On? I miss you, daddy. I love you, daddy. And then they're gonna go in. Yeah. You know, they gotta butter you up first. I know. <laughs> That's all right. We got FaceTime. That's our role. I think hey. we did talk to him on FaceTime Wednesday. What's our baby girl still? I think mm-hmm. Wednesday. We had an appointment. I think we did talk to her Saturday, Sunday, and I think we did hit up Monday or Tuesday, something like that. So we did talk to her a couple of days. We did she said that was enough. 
you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's cool. That's cool. That's right. Well, we you got know, a very exciting holidays. guest. Hmm? We coming up on a holiday? I said, yeah. I said, we remember those college days, yes. Oh, yeah. That's right. All right. Well, look, yeah. we got an exciting guest today. Yours truly, Dr. The Dean Kelly is here from Pastor's Time International Bible College. So he reports in as the dean and president of an accredited college. And he's so excited. Accredited. That's right. Big leap. Big leap. We're moving on up like the Jeffersons. We've moved on up now. That's right. The Dean. Dean, Dean Kelly. That's what we're going to start calling him. Dean, Dean Kelly. Dean Kelly is here. So um, <laughs> we're excited because he's going to be here to talk to the ladies of radio coming at 12. So ladies and gentlemen, hang around. We we usually roll right into the 12 o'clock hour with Shay, Shay Samuels, Chanel Lynn Malloy, and Patrice the savvy one from Ohio, Jackson. All right? So it's going to be a good show, good show, good show. All right. I know you all miss us out there, you know? Yeah. We, 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 we've we been kind of busy the last couple of weeks. We've, we've had a lot going on. Yes. last couple of weeks. Positive power. Meet and greet and the debut of, the sh- of my journey. And then uh, you had some events going on. And so we've had a, we've had a lot. We've had a lot happening. That's right. We had the telethon online. Uh, people were able mm-hmm. to peek into what was going on in Atlanta with the meet and greet with my journey and Paula G and Shea yeah. Samuels and Stephen Marshall was in the house and yeah and, and Dr. David Kelly. Bitten. Yep, Dr. Yeah, Kelly Dr. and Kelly First in Lady. Everybody mm-hmm. in the house. At the yeah, coffee shop. My coffee shop. It was beautiful. And Clark, my, my coffee shop. That's right. Clark Garrison yeah. was in the house. Chris Winston oh, was in the house. Mm-hmm. And Miss Nita was in the house from Atlanta. Yeah, Beyond. she was. Right. She sure was. David Benton was in the house. It was, and you know, it, it, and I'll say this real quick so we can uh, speak with Dr. Kelly. Yeah, you know, you minutes. hear that phrase, it's a small world. You know, I met Nita, did not realize that she is very good friends and very close to uh, my area manager that I, that I work for. Yeah. Uh, during the day mm-hmm. yes that they are good friends and they go way back and yeah. you know who knew that's right who knew so Small yeah world. yeah it was, it was beautiful all right and i have to thank everyone again i just have to thank that's everyone right. who participated everyone who came out everyone who uh, viewed on the telethon tina catrice patrice chanel thank you all so much jerry dr kelly Stephen, shay uh chris clark david just thank everyone for yes. but we had just had a wonderful time and miss linda my coffee shop mm-hmm. she had a great time and she she just loved the energy so uh, i wanted to make sure that i let everyone know how thankful she was as well and uh she was grateful that you all came out and and supported her 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 business it's it's a nice establishment that she has that's right very, very nice, nice. Establishment. it is very yeah. beautiful yeah, nice place. Mm-hmm. Everybody was really comfortable. Yeah. And we saw them big oh, waffles yeah. sitting on them plates. <laughs> Couldn't get my eye off the waffle. <laughs> <laughs> and that basil lemonade, oh, my gosh. When you come to Atlanta, we have to go so you can get the amazing basil lemonade at yeah. my coffee shop. Maybe I can get a taste. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little taste. Yo, you, yeah, you're going to get hooked. <laughs> yeah, can't play around this. You, you will get hooked. <laughs> I only drink water and coffee. So don't mess with me now. Don't mess me up. Only drink water oh, okay. and coffee. All right. She's got some good coffee in there. She's got this easy opening coffee in there. Oh, man. It's, it's the bomb. It's the bomb. But anyway, okay. All right. Okay. Are we ready for Dr. Kelly? Yeah, give me one more minute. Um, Just want to let okay. me remind everybody to know we, we got a lot of taping. A lot of a lot of stuff going on. I've been on. I've been hitting up a whole bunch of people, so uh, we already pretty much filling up the date. The twentieth and the twenty first is when Paula G will be in Baltimore, Maryland, in Owens Mill Studio to tape the second episode of My Journey. So, if you're interested in um, um, getting some some national exposure and international exposure, because some of our friends overseas they watch the show. So, uh, so we're gonna yeah. see an international show. So we claim it all of that. So, mm-hmm. if you're interested, hit us up as soon as you can. Uh, airtime fees do apply, but believe me, you're gonna have a great time. You get a chance to network with some other people who are traveling across the United States as far away as Arkansas, and I actually talked to an author 
from Canada, from I think it's Toronto, Canada, mm-hmm. or maybe she said Ontario. But her and her husband is planning to travel here, so they're looking at, you know, um, their their schedule. But they they think it looks good, so we're excited about that. Also, we're going to be shooting uh, on November third. We're going to be shooting another episode for WMAR Xfinity Comcast. Uh, Minister Gordon Jones is going to be hosting another blessed and talented showcase here in Baltimore. So we're excited about that again. So uh, uh, hit us up about that. And also, um, we're going to be at the, on the campus, the beautiful campus of uh, Catonsville Community College in, in Catonsville, Maryland. It's about 10 minutes from the airport. We're going to be sh- at the oh, Bond, yeah. the Bond Theater. We're going to be shooting an episode. Well, this is going to be for segments of a lot of the stuff we do, but we're trying to put together mm-hmm. some some showcases for Gospel Star Experience. So if, if that's going to be a, a you know a long project. So don't don't panic. But we we like to get you here so we can get some segments for some of all the other talk shows that we do uh, here at Positive Power. So that's going to be on October thirteenth. Okay, so mark your calendar. Mm-hmm. If you need a flyer, let us know. Hit us up. We'll send you a flyer. And then also we got another shooting. Oh, yeah, we we got a couple other shootings. We have some openings in September that if you're here, if you're interested in shooting episodes, what we call cinema concerts. And guess who we're going to have coming here soon? And Dr. Kelly, I hope he can make the flight. But Carlessa mm-hmm. Beach is coming to oh, Baltimore. Wow. Carlessa. Right. <laughs> That's right. We was talking to her. She's excited. She it was so much was going on. She didn't know. She said, "Jack, I got to do blackout live." That was her main thing. Was blacked out live. So she's going to come to the set early on the twentieth, and we're going to get her blackout live on, and then she's going to be ready to have her interview with the Paula G. So you get to interview her, Paula G. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I believe fun. her. Her music was some of the first that I heard when I first yeah. started with Positive Power. Mm-hmm. Back when we were doing the late night top yep. ten countdown. Yep, that's right. That's mm-hmm. right. And she she has three mm-hmm. videos out and so she was excited. So we get a chance to uh, you know, use a lot of oh. her stuff. So we we excited about her. So that's gonna happen. And also we got Denny. Denny Jenkins and Mike Jenkins gonna be coming the town from dc spirit to spirit they come oh, yeah. to the town also to be part of the paula g show and terrell jenkins is coming with his coaching school uh steven mm-hmm. marshall is coming to town uh yeah so we're excited people. about that right. yeah we got a bunch of people coming to town uh we got Dwayne got is coming to the barn with mm-hmm. with jerry was live and positive power to shoot for his episode of gospel star experience so he's coming to town mm-hmm. and um we're waiting we waiting to hear from anthony avery he's still working out some logistics and um summer is going to be part of it so you may see summer mm. on the 21st and she's also going to be doing a cinema concert here, too. So we're going to be working with her, doing a little bit of Unplug, because a lot of us want to hear her story. So yes. It's going down, she's y'all. Got a, she's going down. She's got a powerful one. That's right. Yeah. And, we, and some people it's from amazing. Chicago, uh, artists from Chicago reached out to us, artists from Florida. Uh, Nisi is coming here on, uh, when Nisi coming? I think, I think November 6th. October October. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Yeah, October 6th. Uh, no, that's wrong. Right, November 6th. Right. November 6th. Yeah, Nisi's coming because she's coming the same day that we're shooting for Comcast. She's coming because she's going to be part of that. And then they're going to come over here and she's going to do some blackout. She's going to do some unplug. She's going to do some late night. Yeah, she 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 going mm-hmm. into the whole package. She went the whole package, she said. So, um Hey. We're excited. She got a lot of music She's too. Going in. Yeah, she got a whole album. So it's that shit really wow. yeah, boy. So wow. we got the board, we got the sound stage set up. It's gonna be mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah, we ready. All and, right. And you know, let me let me share this, Jerry. You know, for for those who are interested in taking advantage of these opportunities to be in front of, like Jerry said, a worldwide audience. Keep that in mind. You know, bring your best game to the table. Keep that in mind because the exposure, being on one of these shows is like a ripple effect. You know, when you drop a pebble in a lake, That's and the right. ripple, it's a ripple effect because the show is being, the show and shows are being rebroadcast 
on a multitude of networks, and I believe there it is probably networks that the show is being rebroadcast on that we're not even aware of. Yeah, yeah, you're right, because um, when we was talking to uh, some of the general managers, those guys are going across social media networks. They're they going mm-hmm. across Apple. And a lot of people don't realize Apple TV is really big right now. I mean, they're dominating um, the Internet television market. Uh, so, you know, he was they were so excited about Apple TV. I mean, everybody is. And then you got Roku mm-hmm. who is still doing this thing. Hulu, like the kids love Hulu. Hulu runs really well on smartphones. It's really easy to use. And um, Truly TV. So it's a lot of platforms they use. And then one of the biggest mm-hmm. surprises that's been going on, um, one of our um, affiliate networks in Illinois, he's telling me he's seeing hits around 450,000 now. And he carries mm-hmm. Gumdrop and MVP with Sky. He said it's something about them videos that people really enjoy. People he run, like, he yeah. Run mainstream mm-hmm. videos uh, starting at 2 o'clock, and then he, Gumdrops follow him at 3. Follow that at right. 3. So, we, you, so you guys are actually running on a network where there's like Kirk Franklin's and Yolanda Adams is streaming. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yes, yes. I mean, this guy actually sought after us. You know, he, he heard about music videos. Yeah. And he said, I got to. And it was funny because I, I was trying to push MVP with Scott on him first. And he goes, now I want gumdrop. I want gumdrops. And um, so for some reason, he, he ran across MVP with Scott. <laughs> he called me like first thing in the morning. He said, look, I ain't had my coffee yet. And I haven't got with my wife yet. And, <laughs> and I'm talking to you. I got to have MVP with right. Scott. I was like, I told you. I told you you going to like this show. It moves fast, you know. Yeah. So anyway, so that's this kind it of does, stuff. um we're doing for you guys you know this this has never happened for independence this is um some some serious stuff is happening with christian tv and also christian films uh yes mm-hmm. i went out there on kingdomwood.com i believe it is oh yeah they have a um, yeah. big festival going on in atlanta coming up in october mm-hmm. it's huge now yeah. batman's not well, ready yet you know, the, I'm still working on Dirty Diana. I'm almost finished. I, everything is done. The storyboard is done. I got all this. I, I still need some more shots for, from downtown and then some studio stuff with me narrating. And then the movie can be put together. Everything's ready to go. But I'm not going to be ready yeah. for the festival. So I'm going to have to probably wait till next year. But I, but you told me it was another festival that's coming up too, right? There's one, there's a, there's a film festival in Atlanta in April, and we, we cover, I believe, just about every year that I've uh, been with uh, also Survivor Radio Network um, with Clark Garrison. We've covered it every year, and it, that festival is phenomenal, and, and I'm not just using that word haphazardly. That festival is phenomenal. Films from all around the world. I had the opportunity, was last, year before last, had the opportunity to interview the first female cab driver in India. Oh, now, yeah, to us, that, that might me. not sound like a huge, a big deal. But when I tell you this woman had a testimony and to be able to sit there and interview her and then see her life unfold on the screen, mm-hmm. just a lot of, of, of powerful good content, good quality, independent films at that film festival um, in Atlanta. One of the guests that attended the meet and greet, Tiffany Burgess, she has a film uh, entitled Flipped and that I'm going to have on the show this Wednesday. One of the young men that played in, the, in, in, in this film, and she, take, she takes the scenario of, you know, our, our young black men who are profiled by the police and, 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 you know, our young black men are being shot by the police. She takes that profile and she flips it. Mm. And she, and and that's the, that's the title of the film. And this young man, he's going to be, I'm going to have him on Wednesday, Jerry, if you can tune in. He played a a white male, a young white male being profiled, just like a black male's profile. It was a white male. When I tell you that film was powerful and it was just an eye opener, and um, the young man who played that, Luke is his name, that, that played that role, just some amazing acting. So these independent filmmakers are just, I mean, when I say they have got some powerful stuff coming out the gate, they've got some powerful stuff coming out the gate. Yes. So yes, to, to, to your point, yes, in April that's, and I don't know when the deadline is, 
to submit your film. So we ha- we'll have to look at that, Jerry. Yeah, Batman gonna be ready. We'll have to, to look at that. I'm be ready. Mm-hmm. I got some stuff yeah. to tell. Yeah, I got some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, speaking of ready, speaking of ready, I know Dr. Kelly, oh, Dean yeah. Kelly. My my apologies, right, Dean, Dean Kelly, Kelly. I know Dean Kelly's ready. Paula G talked up your time. <laughs> <laughs> oh no he didn't <laughs> no he didn't did y'all hear that what's up I Dr. Know Kelly he did. what's up Dean <laughs> oh, Dean Kelly hallelujah hello family <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I can feel the power, though. <laughs> that, well, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> I can feel the power flowing. Hey, Amen. Thank you for having us, Amen. Batman. And uh, Lady of Wisdom, thank you for tonight. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be a part of the family. Amen. Well, thank you, and congratulations to you. This is so exciting. Congratulations to you on your accredited Bible College, Dean Kelly and First Lady oh, Marcia Kelly. Yeah, let's give him some class. Give it to him. Give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Big Praise mark on God. the world. Well, she is definitely here tonight, too. Uh, Mrs. Mm-hmm. Kelly, she's here tonight oh, also man. to share some you know, some gratitude and thankfulness, but also congratulations. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not the type of person, Jerry, you all know me, Mrs. Paula G. I don't reflect too much on myself. Amen. I allow God to use me. Amen. In that area of sharing, amen, the blessings of others <laughs> for the most part, but I do, I am happy. I'm elated. I'm excited. This has been a long time coming a birthing, but Back mm-hmm. to Paula G. Congratulations to you, Paula G. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank Hallelujah. You. Amen. Paula G., Lady of Wisdom, and my producer, the best producer on the planet. Amen. We we, we just yes, uh, we just take our hats off to y'all. We'll we get to the accreditation, but this is a part of the spirit that I just want to say thank you all for just letting us, just letting us, just kind of tag along with y'all and share the word of God on this powerful platform. Paula G, congratulations, amen. WATC 57 Atlanta Live. My yeah. journey with yeah. Paula right. G. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Batman. Amen. Batman, there was, there was one thing I observed, no, two things I observed at that meeting, at that meet and greet. If you allow me to share this, Mrs. Paula G and uh, Dr. Yeah. Jerry Royce, that I observed about you, Mrs. Paul, I observe a man of powerful spirit of versatility, very versatile, to engage in the audience on, at, on one hand. However, Batman, she transforms. <laughs> transforms. She transforms too, <laughs> like you, Batman. <laughs> <She> tra- <laughs> I know, I've seen the transformation. Y'all gonna go, y'all gonna go there. Y'all transform, Mike. Hey, Batman. <laughs> she turned into she. It was it was this brilliant anointed suit. It was orange, beautiful, a mm-hmm. uh, beautiful orange <laughs> dress. She came. I'm like, I asked my wife, "Is that Paula G?" I'm like, transform. <laughs> she was beautiful a brilliant journalist anointing journalist brilliant she transformed when she goes into on air whether it's tv or radio batman she literally transformed she engages her audience at a hand Amen. But she can transform to a brilliant, anointed journalist once she hits that air. I, I don't know. I've, I've never seen it. I've never seen a person do that before. <laughs> Amen. Paula G, my, my, literally, ma'am, I, I commend you on that. Amen. And hey. Shay Sam's also the anointed. Yeah. Anointed Shay oh, Sam's. Yeah. Amen. She was. She has a spirit to obey. Jerry Royce, obey, mm-hmm. obey the spirit of God, and using universal scripture. Yes. Very, yes. very powerful Incredible. universal scripture, mm-hmm. which Paula G. read so eloquently over the air. Again, she transformed and also has soft to the uh, powerful anointed Stephen Marshall. He mm-hmm. transforms as well. Mm-hmm. So we're talking mm-hmm. about transformation and looking back, looking back and see what God has done. I'm done. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, Pastor Kelly. I know, I know, Jerry was was talking about me. I know he was. <laughs> how, I, how, how I am before the cameras? I, I get a little, just a little bit nervous, just a little bit. That's all. Nah, I ain't see that. I get a little bit. <laughs> 
Amen. You're being so, kind. Oh, he's so like, <laughs> Hallelujah. It's like with You're Michael Jackson. Kind. You know, Michael it's Jackson. Being Hello, kind, everybody. But... How y'all doing? <laughs> and the next thing you know, boom, Amen. boom. I'm bad. I'm bad. Yes, sir. <laughs> That is awesome, awesome. And I'll make oh, sure I share that with Shay Sams as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, she, I mean, she, you know, and, and, and I have to take a moment and, and, you know, tip my hat to her as well. As she said, she's, she's so anointed. She has such a generous spirit Praise and very God. focused, you know, very focused on the, on the task at hand. She kept me calm. Absolutely. <laughs> she kept me calm yeah. and... And, you know, just knows how to bring it all together and, and even with her performance, engaging the, you know, the audience Absolutely. and her performance as well. But share with us, and you, you're you going to hang with us a while, so you'll have a oh, yes, to elaborate as well. But share with us your journey to this accreditation. Because this, is, this is a monumental, historical moment by the accreditation. Yes, those of us yes, who are in education know how powerful that word, you know, words have power, know how powerful that word accredited is and the weight yes, that it carries. So share with us Please the journey to, to now, Dean Kelly, we're not going to call you Dr. <laughs> Namboy, <laughs> Dean Kelly, <laughs> Hallelujah. to an accredited Bible college. Yes, ma'am. Well, Paula G. Jerry Royce he is also a, a part of this, this milestone, both of you all. First of all, I, I want to thank you all for uh, uh, just ex- for allowing us to extend the invitation uh, to our reviewers, amen, uh, listening around the world. We want to thank Paula G., amen, who is an educator, and also Mr. Jerry Royce, who is an educator as well. They come from backgrounds of education, of educators. And to our listening audience, we observed that. My wife and I observed that because we're educators. Uh, but the road, the journey to this point in our life, ma'am, it goes back over a period of 32 years, literally 32 years. Um, I um, started started my journey, amen, and I like that, Paula. She, she, Jerry, she has a way of tapping into our spirit. <laughs> amen. So, <laughs> Hey man, this amen. journey real quickly to this point, I, I don't I don't want to go too far back, amen. But as I look back over my life, amen, I thank God for what he brought us through. Mother didn't allow us, Paula G and Jerry, to focus on problems. Our mother. Mm. She never allowed us to focus on problems. Amen. She 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 taught us the power of prayer. Amen. And I want to, I want to, I want to remind the viewers, Amen, Paula G, to go and read the story of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, mm-hmm. Amen. When God, Amen, sent them into battle through songs. Come on, somebody, through yeah. praise and worship, Amen. He didn't allow, Amen, those the children, Amen, to focus on the problem, but the power of God. So it was the power of God that brought us to this point. And many, 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 many of our scholars and the deans of institutions around the world understand the power of accreditation. Mm-hmm. Pastor's time was basically birthed in early 1999, 2000, somewhere in that area. But the ministry goes back almost 32 years as a young man evangelizing mm-hmm. in the prisons educating throughout the prison system. So it's a powerful ministry, a powerful platform. However, what I want to uh, underscore, Mrs. Paula G., about accreditation, many students are concerned about accreditation. I'm quite sure you and Jerry understand that. Real quickly, rightly so, accreditation is one way for prospective students to know that a school and the program it offers have been recognized by an association higher than itself. I'm quite sure you all understand that. Amen. But unfortunately, there's been a misunderstanding, and some has been misled, and some students and many are confused as to what accreditation is. If you give me, uh, apology, if you give me about two minutes, I can kind of give you a synopsis. Break it down. Oh, yeah, okay? and I think, oh, absolutely, and I think, and you yes, can ma'am. take longer than two minutes okay. because we actually have yeah. about two. But, but, and the reason I say that as an educator, and you're absolutely mm-hmm. right, and I think we, we need to sit here for just a moment. Absolutely. For, for the absolutely. audience to understand 
how important accreditation is. When, when, when I was Absolutely. in the school system, the school counselor, you know, it was always so imperative for students to graduate from an accredited high school there because colleges only, only recognize accredited high school. So, yes, speak, speak to the audience Amen. about the, the importance of accreditation. Amen. Praise God. Thank you once again, Mrs. Paula G. and Jerry Royce. Amen. And to our listeners, basically, uh, a quick synopsis, amen, as a dean, as a professor, amen, as the president of uh, really uh, a large convention, amen, the, the dean has a powerful role. And as a young man, I knew the importance of this while wow, God placed me in that position. So basically, accreditation is a way to, uh, to which educational institutions, Mrs. Paula G., determine the acceptance of credits and degrees. All accreditation is voluntarily. Many institutions that choose not to conform, and I'm reading this right out of the accreditation manual, amen, literally, mm -hmm. amen. amen, they mm -hmm. choose not to conform, they choose Many institutions that choose not to conform to governmental restrictions but do wish to provide a high-quality education choose some form of independent accreditation. Pastors' time, Pastors' time international, amen, college is, is basically recognized on a private accreditation. Here's, here, there's two. I'm going to explain the difference. There are two main forms of accreditation, independent and the regional. I said private, but it's still independent. Independent and regional. Regional, Mrs. Paula G., regional accreditation is granted by six private corporations known as agencies. Amen. And I'm going to keep this real simple. Amen. Each agency is responsible for and provides accreditation for universities in a separate area of the country. Regional accreditation is sometimes erroneously referred to as, in other words, that erroneously, when I use that word erroneously, or I should say the synopsis, referred to as governmental accreditations. Mm -hmm. The reason regional accreditation is sometimes referred to as government accreditation is because schools recognized by the six agencies are recognized by federal government, and they are eligible to receive government funds. Now, here's where the power of, uh, I should say, uh, uh, independent accreditation comes in. That students of these institutions are eligible for student loans. We're talking about the government part. Yeah. Conversely, students who do not attend a regionally accredited school are not eligible for government funds. Many excellent schools are regional. We want to specify that as many excellent schools are regionally accredited and students with career goals that require a degree from a regional accredited institution will want to complete a program of study from one of the governmental approved schools. That's where your secular degrees come in at, of course. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, Pastors Time International Accredited we are Social School of Minnesota Graduate School of Theology, one of the world's largest international school without wall. Minnesota Graduate School of Theology. Many, many people didn't really realize that, and you go out and look at that particular school. It's a Harvard-based principle of a universal school without walls. So as I finish, our education organization is an accredited, accreditational facility that has declined seeking regional accreditation. I'm quite sure we got that by now. Based mm -hmm. on the desire to teach the whole honest word of God, that's why. That's why we're separated from that. So we do not compromise a biblical message and therefore do not seek the approval of government uh, recognized accreditation. In other words, we don't want the government messing around in our, uh, you know, the word of God mm -hmm. for those who have a desire to seek a higher spiritual education or similar. However, well, Dr. Kelly fading out a little bit. Provide students with the, amen. We do not want to, we do not want our students with exceptional study opportunities in course material. Amen. We at our student with exceptional study opportunities and course materials through PTI, Minnesota Graduate School of Theology. For this reason, our educational PTI, educational institution, has established a partnership 
with Minnesota Graduate School of Theology and the president, the president and dean there, that Jerry uh, Jerry Royce had the honor of speaking to you uh, on Tuesday as an associate school. Pastor's Time International Theological, you might as well say a seminary school, amen, is associated with the ACISC, the Credit Commission at Colleges and Theological Seminary. This is an honor, Paula G. I'm finished. I'll be in tears. It's an honor. Amen. Yes. It's the largest independent accreditation commission in the world. Mm-hmm. That's it. Wow. <laughs> That's wow. It's and an you know. Honor. It, 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 and, it, and I'm glad you elaborated on that, that piece because I believe that's important for people to know and understand as those who are listening and those who will see the Bible College on the Internet to know and understand the, the accreditation, to know yes, and ma'am. understand that this is a, a just like you said, Bible-based college. It is an accredited program. Absolutely. A program Praise in God. which individuals will come through, gain the knowledge and education that they need and, and degree or degrees that they need to move on to do what it is that they are called to do under the under uh, God's ministry or whatever ministry mm-hmm. they're called to do. So I, I, I think it's important, and, and I, you know, yes. as an educator myself and having gone through the nightmare of watching students go through programs try to move on to college or grad school, and they cannot because they come from a program and know the, the, the power and the importance of what you just shared. And that yes, when ma'am. they come through uh, the Bible college, that they know that they are being um, well-educated, well-prepared, yes, and well-equipped to do what yes. it is that God mm. has called them to do. We're going to take a music break. Pastor, when we come back on the flip side of the music break, we are going to continue with the Christian party line. My sister Shay Sams is in route. Yep, yeah, she's she's in the air right now. She's in, in the, the air. air. She's over over the airwaves right now. So she, Hallelujah! She'll be, us. <laughs> she'll be joining us a little bit later on. But when we come back, we want to continue the conversation about the Bible College, and we want to uh, possibly Thank hear you. from First Lady as well. And then toward the end of the show, we're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna celebrate Batman's birthday, and we're all gonna share a little Hallelujah. bit about maybe some birthday memories that maybe. Some of us have had with some of our miles. Maybe some of us have had more milestone birthdays than others. So, (laughs) (laughs) sit back, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. This is Late Night with Jerry Royce Live and Paula G. We're speaking with our guest, Dr. Paul Kelly and First Lady Marcia Kelly. We're going to take a music break. We will come back on the flip side with the Christian Party Line. This is Positive Power 21. Can you feel the power. We'll be back. I do feel the power. <laughs> You're listening to the Worldwide Podcast. Yeah. 
feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of double XI. Positive Power 21.org Internet Radio You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, quick shout out to Jessica Highsmith from EmpowerMeBooks.com and Daynet the Coach Watson from TLC. That's right, check her out at DaynetWatson.com and shout out to Dr. Terrell Jenkins of TAP. That's right, coaching school, all coming to this right positive power double XI in October. All right, let's get back to our guest, Dr. Kelly, and our moderator for today. I guess it's going to be uh, Miss G. Miss G got it. You got it, Miss G. Yes, yes, yes. Shay is on her way. She's in route. She's in the air. Hopefully, she'll be landing soon. But in the meantime, if you're just joining us, welcome to the Christian Party Line with your host, Shay Sams, who's in route. Co-hosting with her this evening is our wonderful sister, Chanel Lynn Malloy, Patrice Jackson, and yours truly, Paula G, Lady Wisdom After Midnight. Ladies, how are you, Chanel? How are you this evening? I am blessed. How are you? <laughs> Bless, bless, bless. You know what? I woke up this morning, so I'm good. It's all good. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm singing song. <laughs> yes, you know, this you morning, know it. God, you know it's good. <laughs> all the time, all the time. Patrice, what's happening, my sister? Hello, ladies. I'm good. What's up? Good, good. Good morning. <laughs> I know. Good morning. I know, right? Good night. First I say mm-hmm. good night, then I say good morning. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, we do a show I still can't get it together. i got to figure it out. <laughs> I know. Right? And then daylight savings time, that really messes it up, don't it? People <laughs> <laughs> be all confused. <laughs> all confused. All confused. But you've been doing okay? I've been doing good. I can't complain. What a wonderful business is going well. Both of you. Both of you got some things going on, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I got business going good. Um, we're working on the fourth quarter, getting ready for next year. So I'm okay. excited. Uh, okay, and tell us again about you. How to keep up with you, Paula? Yes. We're keeping up with each other. Tell us about your show on Sundays, correct? Um, I, yeah, I have a show on Sunday, Sunday TNT. This is about entrepreneurship with one of my business besties, Catrice Jones. Um, we had the opportunity to be on the call with her for your, um, your, your, your you know, yeah. launched my journey. And so, yeah, it's a good show. We talk about entrepreneurship. This Sunday we're going to have um, one of the biggest event coordinators. You should see her events. They are amazing what she does. And her team is just um, it's just awesome. So she's going to talk about team building this weekend. So, okay. <laughs> Awesome. All right. So we'll make sure that the audience tunes in. And Chanel, what you got going on, my sister? Um, well, of course, I am. I have my uh, Let's Talk Talk show on Elations Radio every Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. Central. And then also, um, I've been invited to um, talk on Pastor Ross's show, his radio show on, I believe it's Elations Radio, the end of this month <laughs> wow. um, as well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent, it's excellent. an absolute honor. He's an amazing man. Yes, he is. He is. Well, you know, God is doing a mighty thing with the ladies of the Christian Party Line and Late Night Radio, and we know that, that Shay will be hopefully joining us soon. Once she lands back here in the ATL, she has had quite a busy week, but uh, she'll be uh, back soon. And then also tomorrow she's performing here in the Atlanta area at a jazz gospel brunch at the Blue Rose Art Bistro at 1130 tomorrow. So for those of you who are in the Atlanta area, it's in Douglasville. Make sure you come out and check out our sister, Shea Samuels and support her. Well, all right, we are fortunate to have Dr. Paul Kelly as our guest this evening, and we are celebrating his accredited Bible college. International, I might say. Dean Kelly. (laughs) Amen. Y'all do much with me. (laughs) 
<laughs> amen. I got my wife here tonight, amen, to keep me in line. She actually wanted to give you all a shout out, but y- y'all y'all know y'all make the preacher cry. <laughs> Thank you all we for love, having us. We amen. love the preacher. We love the preacher. <laughs> amen. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna actually pass the mic over to First Lady Kelly since this is the Christian party line with the ladies, amen. Uh Paula G. Amen. I'm gonna be on standby for you yes, tap she's out here. On no, okay. I ain't tapping out. She messed with me. <laughs> Hallelujah. But as soon as you get ready to have her, she's standing by. Yes, yes. First, well, First Lady, yes, join us. How are you this evening? I am wonderful. And you? I am wonderful. So good to have you join us and so good to have you a part of the Christian party line this evening. We've got Chanel Lynn Malloy and Patrice Jackson, ladies. First Lady Marcia Kelly. Well, hello. Hello, hello First everyone. Lady. Hello. <laughs> it's so good to hear your voice again. <laughs> it's so well, good to hear your you. voice. She's thank an you. awesome woman of God. Absolutely she love is. her. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. So for, for, well, let's take a few moments, uh, First Lady, for the audience members who uh, may not know you. Share with us a bit about who is First Lady Marcia Kelly. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Won't he do it? <laughs> <laughs> you need to right now. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. You got this. <laughs> oh, um... I don't really talk much about myself, so I let me see. So how? Well, tell tell us how you how you fit because we know that on Tuesday evenings you are usually at Bible study. You're usually at church. And you're usually at Bible study on uh, Tuesday evenings. So tell us a bit about because I understand you 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 impart a bit of wisdom yourself. So tell us a little bit about. Um, you know, how, how you share your ministry, how you share the gifts that God has given you. Well, on Tuesdays, I, I'm in um, choir rehearsal. Mm-hmm. And um, I enjoy singing. I, I love giving praises to God through song. And um, I just used, uh, I, it's not a, uh, he didn't necessarily give me that gifting, but mm-hmm. I just love to just love to sing. So minister. just being this minister and being part of the choir just gives me an opportunity to be around some other people who mm-hmm. who do have that gift and other people who are uh, singers. Uh, just to minister and just um, just give them that little extra bit of uh, encouragement. Sometimes, yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's um, just that bit of. Um, just letting somebody know that mm-hmm. I, I appreciate you. You're doing a great job. You know, it's just sometimes when people are just there, it's just if you just your presence can help them. And when you just yeah. give them an encouraging word, you know, it just helps them, you know. And you, it's not like you're trying to do anything. It's just you just want to just encourage somebody, just touch somebody's life, let them know it's yeah. okay. Because a lot of times when we're singing and praising God, it, it's just – you know, you feel God's presence, and it's just a wonderful experience that we all get to, to to have together as a choir and individually. And you get some healing going on, and you get some breakthroughs going on. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's just good to be a part of that and 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 be one with one another as we yeah. are experiencing and 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 celebrating God. Yes, because, you know, sometimes choir, and I've been in choir rehearsal, sometimes choir rehearsal, it, it's like church on Tuesday night or Thursday night yes. or whenever choir rehearsal. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, since you get to it minister is. in those songs and, you yes. know, it, the next thing you know, you, you, you have in church. So now have you, had, have you ever had that experience? Where you're, <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were making me think about one. <laughs> yes. One situation. Honey, and I'm mad. It was Bible study, and all of a sudden, we started out with Bible study, uh, and then all of a sudden, only God can do it. Only God (laughs) can do it. (laughs) Lord, what is happening? The Lord took over. (laughs) There you go. Next thing you know, you're having church. (laughs) Yeah. Church. (laughs) Having church. (laughs) Running through the the church. You know, 
Wait a minute. I thought we had Bible study. I thought this was yeah. rehearsal. <laughs> yeah. Check, check your calendar. Make sure. Make sure it's not fun. Patrice, what about yourself? Have you ever had that experience? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've always, you know, you, you, you think it's going to be one thing, and then, like you said, you be on a whole nother uh, holding on high. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. the Holy Ghost high. Indeed, indeed, mm-hmm. indeed. So tell us and about, oh, oh, you know it. <laughs> so tell us, First Lady, about this, this journey of accreditation and being at the point of having this established uh, Bible, co- this international Bible college. What has it been like for you, from your, from your perspective? Well... I've just really been in the background. Mm-hmm. I'm really just, I let my husband just do, well, not just do whatever, but mm-hmm. it's just, I just make sure I keep him focused. Um, mm-hmm. I just make sure that uh, he's taking care of himself. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not really doing too much of the, the background, but the work that he's doing. Mm-hmm. But I'm just making sure that he's staying where he needs to be so he can stay focused on what needs what has already been presented to him so mm-hmm. he just presents it well in the way that God wants him to. So mainly I'm just I'm just there for as his help meet to help meet mm-hmm. the needs of him for whatever his guidance or if he's asked me a question about something, what do I think about something? That's what I, I'm there for for him mm-hmm. because you know this is a, a um, um this is big to be you know going into and this is something that he's been wanting to do this for a long time it just had to yeah. wait to be to be birthed so mm-hmm. now that it's 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 you know it's here it's like it's you know you want to step closer and he's just you know he gets excited about this yes. <laughs> and and so i got to make sure just keep him just you know not too. Don't go too far out there now. Come on, come on back, come on back. But <laughs> gotta bring him back. But yeah, gotta bring him back because he, you know, he's so excited about teaching God's word. I mean, the, you because you can hear it, you can feel it when yes. he's, you know, when he he's teaching God's word. It's just it's an incredible thing, mm-hmm. and I love to see that in him. But I just gotta make mm-hmm. sure that okay, there's other people around here, so. Come on, come yeah. on. So, 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 I got to just bring them back. Just make sure that okay, this is where we're going. So let's just focus here. But that's mainly what, mm-hmm. as as having this Bible college, I know it's going to touch many lives. And yeah. as long as I can make sure that the word gets out, the teaching gets out the the way that it needs to be, and the way that mm-hmm. God wants it to be. That's what my main role is. So I'm not trying to necessarily be a teacher unless I need to be, but mm-hmm. I'm going to play whatever role that, that God needs me to play. Wow. Well, now, how many years have you all been married? Twenty-three. Going on twenty-three. Been married. Wow. Okay, so, you know, you know, oh, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So, you know, I always have to ask this question because, you know, our our marriages, if they have not already been under attack, a lot of our marriages are under attack or will be under attack. And, you know, we have to constantly keep our, our married couples lifted in prayer, covered in prayer, because the enemy is always trying to destroy that which God has put together. So with that being said, can you share with us some pearls of wisdom from your perspective? Because I know you're going to bless some some wives out there and even some husbands. Some pearls of wisdom about what it takes in regard to the longevity of marriage? I would say the first thing would be trust. First, if you trust in God, he would deliver, he would lead you to the right person. So once Mm. God puts the two together, then that's when your journey can begin. 
as as two people becoming one. So you you start with 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 trust. You got to trust in God because we can't trust ourselves because mm-hmm. we make too many mistakes. So yeah. if we trust in God first, then He leads us to that person that He's wanting us to be in partnership with because mm-hmm. God already knows what destiny he has for us. So when we say we want to do this and this and this, well, God has has already preordained already who you're supposed to be with because he mm-hmm. already knows what purpose he has for us. So with my husband and I, we met, and it was just like we'd been around each other Mm-hmm. For for years and just didn't know it. We never ran into each other, but we knew a lot of the same people. We worked in some of the same places. We just never ran into each other until the right predestined time. And so, as we when we came together, it was just like one of those. It was like a magical thing because it was like we didn't know each other, but we did. Mm-hmm. So when we got together. It was it was just seemed natural. It was just it was just easy at the you know, at the mm-hmm. beginning because it because that's God brought us together. So it just at first, you know, it was easy and you know we we got together, we got married and mm-hmm. and and then I won't say right away, but as we started our journey Mm-hmm. You know, we, things started. You know, it, not in the. We knew that the the devil didn't like what was going on. Mm-hmm. Yes, because because we had a purpose, mm-hmm. and that's what we were striving for. So when we decided, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to do it, and we started working more. And we started. We were in the church already, but then. Mm-hmm. When you become a couple and becoming as one, it just makes you a better power couple, I would say. Yes. So yes. as as we were, you know, in the church, because uh, he joined the church that I was uh, already a part of, and as we, you know, joined that church and all, you know, you get people, you know, who is this? And because and, I had been married previously before, and, mm-hmm. you know, they just nosy. Church folks yeah. get nosy sometimes. <laughs> and, me- and messy. And messy sometimes. <laughs> yes, and just messy sometimes. Like, come on now. Right. Just, just, just hey, this is my life. You live your own. Exactly. But, but we were just, you know, as we got to, we got together, you just, just, it was just little things that people were doing. And then mm-hmm. as the Lord elevated us more and more, it was like, we we saw more and more resistance, and then it's like, wait a minute. We thought you should you supposed to be on our side. I thought we were all mm-hmm. working for the same for the, for the same God, but it was just. But you know what really happened for us as the devil kept on trying to infiltrate us individually and as our and as a family, even through my children, mm-hmm. we got closer. Mm. We got closer to each other, and mm-hmm. we got closer to God because that will right. push you. It's gonna push you one direction. You're gonna go either one way or the other. But right. you know, I didn't have I didn't have, I didn't have nothing to fall back fall back on. So I had nothing but God. So that is where mm-hmm. I, you know, I got closer to my husband. I got closer mm-hmm. to to God, and mm-hmm. He kept on elevating us. And as we we as we kept on moving, you know, God always knows best. And he Amen. moves us at the time that we need to be moved because he already knows what's going to happen. So just like even yes. with when when we know that the the devil was messing with us, and you know when you get to a point you just get frustrated, or tired of fighting with people, especially exactly. church folks. That you know the Lord already knows. Okay, she had enough. He had enough. Then let me move them. Somewhere mm-hmm. else in a more safe and productive environment, right? And and that's basically what he did for us. Especially that's how we got into pastoring because it was just like all of a sudden we got a phone call to pastor my grandfather's church, and it came mm-hmm. from my aunt, and it was like, oh, what an opportunity! 
Right. You know, it's something that he's always wanted to do, but it's just like that opportunity came and it's like, oh, okay. And it was just, it was just a blessing. It was a wow. true blessing. The and door and the and yes, that door opened, and you know, pastor's time started. You know, was already going, but it was just another opportunity to spread. You know, those seeds. So right. it, into into the TV ministry uh, part. You know, TV ministry got better, and and it was just the the Lord just showed how you know showed us the the path. That he that he had for us, we just had to just keep walking that path. Even though sometimes uh, we we try to get ahead of things, because mm-hmm. you know when God is so good and and you just want to share with everybody, but you can't always do that. Right. Sometimes you have to hold certain things close to your chest, and you can't, you yes. can't let those things out. You can't let those things out. I think I believe Chanel has a couple of questions for you. Chanel, okay. I do. <laughs> um, once again, uh, First Lady, I I think that you are, and I'm not. I'm not just saying this. I'm. This is really coming from the heart. I really um, think that you are definitely a woman of God to look up to, um, to even follow. You know, behind. Um, how you are, just as a woman of God. Um, and a wife to your husband, um, you two are doing magnificent things in your marriage, you know, and, and it's evident, you know, um, how you are there as a wife, as a help me. Um, but my question is, um, and thank you. how can you, you're welcome, <laughs> but, but so, so for the single women, uh, how how do you know uh, when God has sent the one, the one that, you know, he has uh, for you? Or how did you know? Um, it was just a, it was just a feeling I, I had. God had given give me this. When, when I got into the, my husband's mm-hmm. presence, when I first met him, mm-hmm. And I got into his presence. We started. We were at, we were at school, and um, we were in the student union, mm-hmm. buying, getting ready to borrow books and and stuff because we were ready to start school for that semester. And when he was talking to me, it was just I. There was a sense of peace that I had. Mm-hmm. There was a sense of mm-hmm. security that I felt around him. Didn't know nothing mm-hmm. about this man, but mm-hmm. it was just. Talking but to him, it was, but I, I felt this 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 peace that came from him, and wow. it was just. And then you know he had asked me, you know my my thing was to uh, he asked me could he give me his number. Oh, I said okay. <laughs> oh, because wait I wasn't I, I wasn't giving mine out. So, pastor about to drop some dishes. <laughs> Pastor was dropping some digits on you. First yes, grade. he was. Yes, he was. He was dropping some digits. He was dropping some digits. <laughs> he he definitely was, and it was like, you know, I, I was saying okay because you know if somebody give me their number, I, I don't want it. I ain't gonna keep it. I just throw it away and go about my business. But <laughs> I, I kept that number. You kept it, and it was I kept that number, and I asked him what time should I call, and he told me what time he, what time, and I can remember myself, you know, leaving the bookstore, getting ready for, you know, doing what I had to do the rest of that day, but I found myself waiting to that time that he told me to call to call him. I had never done that. Oh, oh, Patrice mm. said, Pastor Kelly got game. Dean Kelly got game. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't have no game at that time. That was the whole series. <laughs> she, she had all Come the on, game, man. honey. Give <laughs> your phone number. I'll call <laughs> you. Thank you. But it, but it was, I mean, but it was just, I mean, really, it was just, mm-hmm. because really at that time in my life, I was I was frustrated with men because mm-hmm. my own, the person I had picked wasn't the right one, and God mm-hmm. told me before I before I even did that, God told me not to, but I, I was being but disobedient. Mm-hmm. I was disobedient, and so yeah, I had to pay yeah, for that. Mm-hmm. So yes, he said, we okay. go down that road. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. but I was so thankful God gave me another chance and said, Lord, help me, please. 
Yes. I yeah, mean, he brought, me. but see, yes, because I was, I was really, I was through with men at the time. It was like, no, mm-hmm. I'm focused on my education. I'm focused mm-hmm. on my, my baby I got right here. That's, I'm not, mm-hmm. you know, that was, that was really what it was is like, it's yeah. almost like I surrendered, but I didn't know I was surrendered to God, but I was mm-hmm. just said, this was it. But realizing if I sur- just surrendered to God sooner, mm-hmm. I could have gotten some of that stuff. You know, so you were done. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you I were done, done doing things your way. Yeah, right. That's what it sounds like. I, I was, yeah. and the Lord said, "Okay, well, let, let's let's try my way." And He mm-hmm. brought him into my life, and it's just like everything else just started falling into place. Into so place. it it wow. really did. It was just having him in my life was just yeah. that extra piece of what I needed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we, in the way that we have, we are together. It was just like you know, we we, you know, we can be. I can be thinking something, and he'll ask me, "Do you want blah 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 or something?" We can mm-hmm. finish wow. the sentences. I mean, it was just, wow. Oh my you know, gosh! So it was you like know, it was like he would he would he would he would see the need before you even spoke. It? Yes. Was it like that? Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. that is awesome. You know what? First, first lady and, and Chanel, Patrice had a question that's relative to what you just said. Patrice, what okay. was your question? Um, thanks, uh, Paula, because that is true. Um, being so in tune with him and being married for as long as you guys have, are there times that you see where his ministry is going before he even sees it? Yes. There, there are times when I, I do see that. That's why I, I pay so a close attention to things because my discernment sees a lot more sees di- differently Ooh. than his mm-hmm. and you know because he is such an open person and friendly mm-hmm. to everybody I have to I keep my eye open to make sure that he's protected I keep him covered in prayer all the time so that's mm-hmm. that's number one but just his surrounding people, people who want to get too close to him. I, I, mm-hmm. I you know, I definitely a watchful of that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm watch and yeah. I, and I've st- I still am. You know, I, that's, yeah. that's just what, because my, my thing is I want, I want to make sure God protects us. I know, but mm-hmm. God gave him to me. Yeah. Right. So I want to do whatever I need to do to make sure that he's able to do what he needs to do. But mm-hmm. right. in the kind of environment where, um, that he, it, it's productive because yes. you know what he show, what God shows me sometimes is a little different from what God shows him, but it all works together. So as yeah, long as from I'm different doing perspectives, that, yeah, from mm-hmm. different perspectives. So, so as long as we both do what we're supposed to be doing, it's all going to work out. It's just that he Ooh. runs the part that he needs to run, and mm-hmm. I do what I'm supposed to and do. And you do your part. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I have and one I love more question. question. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go ahead, Chanel. Well, it's, it's actually, it's act, it, it goes along the line with what you just said. Um, the question is, when did, so, so, because it seems like, you know, in the very beginning that you guys, you know, everything was peaceful and there was bliss. You know, when was the first trying time? And, and how did you handle it with your husband? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> don't go um, <don't>, Chanel. Stop us <laughs> <was> today. <laughs> let me see. I'll, I'm trying to. I'm, I, really, well, like, a lot was, of the try, mm, a lot of the trying the, times that we had didn't happen. I say until. <sighs> I can't really, well, I mean, I can't really mm-hmm. say when. It just, it was just that we were both trying to learn each other. So I guess mm-hmm. from the, it was because we were both trying to learn each other, and we mm-hmm. both knew. Do you think that, that happened, like, within the first year? I'm sorry. Uh, but, but you know, if, 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 if I can interject, I think what I'm, he- what I'm, what I'm, what I think I'm hearing, what I heard mm-hmm. a few moments ago was, you you know God you use the discernment that God has given each and every one of us females that are on this planet. You use that mm-hmm. discernment to 
see what your what your husband perhaps cannot see. You yes. cover him in prayer. So yes. when you when you because you use that I think this is huge because you use that discernment. I believe, and then correct me if I'm wrong, First Lady. Perhaps the reason that you're that you're struggling a bit to answer that question is because of the fact that you use that discernment. It almost wards off. I won't say it wards off the difficult times, but you're using that discernment to see, okay, th- what what is happening here is bigger than just this moment, or maybe it's not necessarily about this moment, but it's about something. It's something, it's something about that discernment to me that I think has gotten you all through um, some of the things that maybe some of us who may, maybe don't use that discernment like we should, hmm. and we allow ourselves to get distracted and angry at, hmm. at, at our faith about things that if we use that discernment, we might be able to step back and say, okay, let, let, let me just take a breath. Let me take a breath. Let me bridle my tongue. Let me uh, bridle my thoughts and and mm. see how we can navigate through this situation. Am yes. I wrong? Yes, okay. that, that, that's right. That is, but okay. it didn't happen from the beginning, though. Right, it, right. It, it, it took some time right. for, okay. for – it took some time for me to, to learn that mm-hmm. because I was to still trying him. to yeah. – to learn him, but myself also with my discernment. Mm. I mm-hmm. had to, it took me some time because if I would have used my discernment earlier in my life like I should have, I wouldn't have gotten mm-hmm. all mixed up with that other person that I did. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it was just, it took time to, to yeah. get there. But once I noticed mm. we were in sync with each other, it was just much easier. Right. Because okay. I get it. it. it was just I because get it. Mm-hmm. So when we did mm-hmm. have our arguments, our dis- discussions, or, or whatever we, whatever you wanted to call it, it was just mm-hmm. like, it was, yeah, okay, it was there, it was put out there, and then it was over. Right. Mm-hmm. Because you could see beyond the moment. You could see beyond yeah. the moment. Right. Like, well, I'm, I may have, now I did get right. my feelings sometimes. Now <laughs> you got, you, you got but, your feelings. Come on, help yeah, us! I got, I got yes, I got in my feelings too now. So, but it was just, but it was a learning process. It was definitely yeah. a learning process because I, I, because at one point I used to think I was always right. Mm-hmm. But. Yes. I mean, yeah. that's just how Multiple. I felt, you know. Because <laughs> you were in your feelings. <laughs> yes. It was like, women's women's. Yes. Women's women's. But, but as I have grown, and that's, when, that's the other thing with my husband, he mellows me out in some areas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we, we're a good fit for each other yeah. because mm-hmm. where I'm, my one area might be have become too sharp. He mellows mm-hmm. me out, and where he mm-hmm. might be too mellow, I can sharpen him up a little bit. Right. So right. It's, it's just as 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 we get to as we have grown together, you know, mm-hmm. I we can kind of see, you know, he has an opinion, I have an opinion, but we both, you know, we can have separate opinions mm-hmm. and still work together. Yeah, and I so, think the key is. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, I think just from what I'm, I'm hearing, I believe the key it goes back to what you said in the beginning, is that you, you are fit for each other. You are God yes. sent for each yes. other. So even though you have these difficult times, you, you know, I always use the analogy of, of a couple when, when, when you're married, a couple riding in the, in the car. So mm-hmm. if, if the husband is in the driver's seat, and the wife is riding, you know, shotgun. That's an old term. I know young folk don't know what that means. But the, the <laughs> wife, <laughs> but the husband is in the driver's seat. The wife mm-hmm. is, dri- is riding shotgun, and they're going down the road. The windows are, are up. The doors are locked. And maybe they get into to an argument. So maybe the wife might move to the back seat for a moment, and like like you said, first lady might be in your feelings. You might be sitting back mm-hmm. there in the back seat. Y'all might yes. be fussing. Nobody's getting out the car. The windows don't go down. The doors are not unlocked. 
then there might be a point where, okay, you're going to get back in the front seat and you riding shotgun. Maybe he's tired of driving. So maybe you take over. You start driving. He's driving. He's riding shotgun. You might get into a little argument or whatever. He might jump in the back seat for a minute, and then he'll come back up in the front in, in front seat. But at the end of the day, nobody else, no one gets out of the car. No one else right. gets in the car, you all are yes. continuing to ride mm. down that road, and you're gonna, and you know that you have to work it out because the windows yes. can't come down in the car, the doors can't unlock in the car. Nobody can get out, and nobody, D dog, better sure not come in to the car. Right. And as right. long as you continue to journey down the road of life like that, then then all is well. But the key is to get in the car with the right person. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Get in the car and with the right person. Really. That, and and that analogy right definitely works because <laughs> a lot of times when we go through different things or if I'm not understanding something that he's doing, I have to remember mm-hmm. God put us together for a reason. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's yeah. not for me to always know what he's mm-hmm. doing. Right. And mm-hmm. my, my, my part is just to trust that he that he's trusting God. Mm-hmm. And then I just need to. I won't. I won't. I'm not saying following the way of being just, but and just as long as I follow. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I understand. Because to me, I understand the role, what his role is, and I understand what my role is. Even though I think I'm always in control, I know he's mm-hmm. the head. Yes. Yeah. But I am yeah. in control, though. I do know that. <laughs> yes. But he, but yeah. Yes. I am in control, but <laughs> he is the head. Right. So right. as long as I stay in my role and don't try to get ahead of him, mm-hmm. I'm good. Ooh, wee. right. That, and that, you know, that'll preach. That'll preach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and, you know, a woman, and that's powerful because a woman doesn't have a part. You know, and I heard I was at a woman's conference some years ago, and the, the, the presenter said, she said, I do not have a problem with submitting to a man, but he's got to be the right man. He's got to be a man that right. is led, that I know that he is being led by God, and he is he's strong enough, but he's humble enough to allow God to lead him and that he's listening to, to the direction that God is 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 uh, telling him to take the family in. So, I, you know, we, we kind of run from this word submission and we kind of start right. getting our feelings about this word submission, but it's because we're not paired with that right person. We're not paired with That's the right. person that God has sent. We're, 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 we're doing our mm-hmm. own thing. Like you were saying, First Lady, at first, you know, we kind of doing our own thing. So, therefore, you know, when we're doing our own thing, we're not being obedient. We wind up with a person that, that we don't, even though we might, it might come out of our mouth we trust that person, but in our heart we don't really trust that person. So then we have a mm-hmm. problem with the whole submission thing. But when, right. when we wait on the Lord, when yes. we wait and when we, when we listen and wait until he presents mm-hmm. that person to us that is meant for us, we don't mind riding shotgun and we don't mind submitting because it's the could right it person. Also, could it also be... Uh, that while we are waiting, that we uh, really, really allow God to um, show us us, show us mm. who we are in our heart. Oh yeah. When I think about, cause my, when I think about marriage, I think about Adam and Eve, right? <clears throat> how uh, you know they were married and everything was how it was supposed to be, and then the enemy came in. You know, or the enemy Uh came and tempted Eve because she was the weaker vessel. And so, so my question, I have a question. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Many, and I'm, I'm, I'm asking questions because I'm, I'm, I'm in need of help myself. Okay. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Because I know I'm not supposed to be single, you know, for the rest of my life. Okay. And so there are times when the enemy does come in and he might not come to, um, nine times out of ten, he might not come to, you know, the, I want to say the stronger vessel, not, you know. So anyway, Mm. because, you know, Eve at that time, of course, because of, and, you know, we are women, we are emotional, and that's the main thing that the enemy targets, our emotion. He stares up our emotion. (laughs) And so I Mm -hmm. think that's what makes us spiritually weak. And so sometimes for me, myself, and probably a thousand other single women, probably, 
you know, when we are dealing with what, you know, what could be the one, the enemy can come in and play with our emotions, things that happened yes. to us in our past from people that we were with. So were you ever in a situation in your marriage or even before your marriage where, you know, some things were kind of questionable and maybe, you know, were there some things where it, like, like you had to ask, like, okay, God, you know, am am I, am I, you know, am I tripping? <laughs> you know, what oh. I'm saying? am I, you know? Go ahead. I'm <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I'm trying. I still <laughs> go through that now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, I do. Mm-hmm. I still have those 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 moments, but I do remember a, a time where. I, it, it was it was a time where we at we were at my church and. The let me see, let me let me be nice. I'm gonna call him um, <laughs> this other person who was a, this dysfunctional. We gonna call him a dysfunctional person. Mm-hmm. Just um, he 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 was trying both of us, but he was really trying to get at me because he was well, he was trying to get at my husband, but he was trying to go through me. You know, mm-hmm. by by mm-hmm. saying certain mm-hmm. things and, mm-hmm. and and stuff like that. But I can handle that. I didn't. I didn't. It was like whatever. You know, it was just. Mm-hmm. But then when he started messing with my children and making Ooh. comments. Okay, now, see, now. I, I that was fine mama at first, bear. but see, yes. And so right, it was now, like, oh, mm. mama bear claws are coming. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and it was just. It was just like. It took me. It took me a little while to have to get past that, knowing that Marcy, you can't do nothing. Mm-hmm. God has got. You know, when you asking God to please fight this battle, Lord, please, because because it, it was just the enemy can't. We can't do this. And then, especially tell, when I told my husband about the different things that he was doing, and see that mm-hmm. got him all riled up. And that was mm-hmm. one of the reasons why, when I was saying that, how how God's people are. Well, we all God's people, but mm-hmm. when they can frustrate you, and that's one one of the times mm-hmm. that why God moved us because we already had a path and journey, so He yeah. knows how to move us before we get out of sorts. Mm-hmm. You know, get too far. Mm-hmm. We don't want to get too far out out of our lane because we already own that path that He needs us to be. And if we would have acted up and you know just got too, you know, crazy, then that that mm-hmm. hurts. That that hurts the the yeah. um. God's um um our represent, representation of who mm-hmm. God is in our life, right? And what and what and, he's called, and I, yes, and what and, he's called us to, and, yes. and what he's called you to, do. Patrice. What what was your question? Because I think that again, your your question falls in with what First Lady was just saying. Um, I was wondering if she can give some examples of how ministry itself is a ministry. Because I know as a single person, I know I've looked at marriages and just look at how relationships should be, period, not just with a spouse or a future spouse. So I know that ministry itself has some, um, I mean, marriage itself has some ministry mm-hmm. to it, and I was wondering if she can give some examples of that. How, okay, marriage, well, I mean, it's really the, I mean, for me, from what I can, I say what I could say for marriage and ministry would be very similar because it's about, especially having a leader and you are in a certain ministry, there's a task that needs to be taken care of or there's a mission that needs to be done. You're still coming together as one to complete that mission. And that's what you do in ministry, no matter what it is, is whether you, you, you go out to, to, um, to feed the poor or you're ministering to young, uh, young kids or, or, you know, you have a group that, that, you know, does Bible study or whatever. It's just like with marriage, we're coming together to complete the mission, whatever mm-hmm. God has for us. So as long as we're working together, and that's the main thing, because you we have to have respect for each other. Because mm-hmm. if you have respect for each other, then it makes things you trust each other, and you can have that. Because if you don't have respect, just like if people in the church, if you don't have respect for the leader, you ain't gonna work well. Right. And just like right. in marriage, 
If you don't have respect for your spouse you're not, or your partner or anybody, you're not going to work mm-hmm. well. You're not going to do your best. Mm-hmm. When you mm-hmm. have respect for somebody or that person in, in ministry or just a person, a friendship or whatever, you will work better. You'll do what you need to do. You'll go that extra mile to get the mission mm-hmm. done because it's important mm-hmm. to you. Mm-hmm. And it goes back mm-hmm. to... It goes back to being paired with the right person. Yes. Being paired mm-hmm. with the right person because, you know, a lot of times in life we make our choices based on wherever we are at that particular mm-hmm. moment mm-hmm. in our lives. Whether, whether we admit it or not, you know, if, yes. if, if we are emotionally in a, in a um, if we are in a, in, in a, in a emotionally, Peaceful or balanced state, if you will, whatever choices uh-huh. we make in our life, whatever decisions we make to include relationships will yes. more than likely be good choices and good decisions. But if we are, say, entering into another relationship, not having allowed ourselves the opportunity to heal from the previous relationship, yes. or we're entering into a relationship not having dealt with some, some of the, not some, the baggage of our past and the, and, and, the, and the, the brokenness and so forth from our past, all of that gets poured into the new relationship and then it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, I think what you, what you no. said, First Lady, is so powerful in regard to uh, marriage and, and, and how it is a ministry within itself. It when is. When she said it. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> but when you said, when you were talking about how, you know, uh, basically, you know, serving, you know, uh, your husband, the leader, uh, which is, you know, kind of, you know, looking at him as the, you know, the leader um, and, you know, working together, um, you know, to make, you know, the ministry or the marriage work, it just so put me in a mindset how ministry is love. Like, that is like yes. the core, you know, yes. and that's where respect comes from. And yes. so marriage as well, you know what I'm saying, how how uh-huh. marriage is ministry. And it's yes, the ministry it of love. Yes, it is. I and then how, agree. yeah, yeah. And then mm-hmm. how Christ loved the church, he loves you, you know, and right. sacrifice himself. Yeah. Exactly. That's awesome. And and that's mm-hmm. where my and that's where and that's how I kind of cause that's how I see it because I don't ha- it's just like what I thought marriage was at one time was just mm-hmm. my own idea. But when I think about how God sees it and how God mm-hmm. wants us to be because mm-hmm. God is love, it's just exactly yeah. what you said. It's just like I can't. It's like he. It's already. A, he already has a blueprint out there, and as long as mm-hmm. I follow it, I'll mm-hmm. be okay. But once yeah. I decide, well, well, maybe this and maybe no. See, when you start adding, just like a recipe, if it's perfect, perfect, leave it alone. Mm. Don't be adding nothing. Yeah. Don't be distracting. Yeah, keep it simple. Wow. 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 First lady, if you if you yeah. could go back. No, let me rephrase that. If you could sit down and have a conversation with the twenty year old Marcia, she's sitting right oh. in front of you. She's sitting right in front of you right now. Talk to her. Okay. The first thing I would say is to love yourself. Mm. Yeah, buddy. It's mm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Ooh. Amen. Okay. <laughs> and I, uh-huh. Amen. That Amen. That's real. Yes. Yeah, because we so many of us go through that, you know. With so many, well, of us, so many of us don't love you. We don't know how to yes. love ourselves. Oh Our my God! Right. Yeah. Oh Jesus! Yeah. A lot love of us ourselves. have gone through hell and high water. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Growing mm-hmm. up and everything, you know. And of mm-hmm. course, we testify. 
you know, and all yeah. of that great stuff, you know, thank God I've learned, you know, God taught me how to love myself. However, mm-hmm. until we learn how to accept God's you gotta love, love yourself. ourselves mm-hmm. the way God sees mm-hmm. us to really love ourselves, the only way we'll be able to love somebody else, period, mm-hmm. is if we first know how to love on ourselves. ourselves. And that's male and Jesus. female. That's male and yes. female. Yeah. In relationships, marriages, friendships, everything. Mm-hmm. That's male and but female. But that's why I know that this marriage was was help. I mean, because ordained, because yeah. I didn't love myself like I needed to. And when mm-hmm. Come on, when the God it. put God, in, when when God put Paul in my life, my husband, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he helped me heal mm. 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 that that part of me. Mm. And mm-hmm. that's where that's the reason why the marriage could work the way it did because mm-hmm. I got mm-hmm. the healing I needed. Yes, and he well, understood inside that. the marriage, and he understood yeah, that. Wow. He saw that. He, uh, he can mm-hmm. see that in my. He can he can look at my eyes and tell the hurt mm-hmm. that I was going through because he told mm-hmm. me, you know, mm-hmm. I can see your hurt. Yes, and see, and, that's what I think. That's another, if, if I just interject real quickly, I think that's another, just another confirmation when you know you have the right person standing in front of you, they can see it. They, you know, mm-hmm. it's not, oh, man, she got all this baggage and, you know, she got all this stuff from her past and, I, you know, I, I don't want right, to deal with that right. and they're out of there. Right. But when the person mm-hmm. can see that and is, mm-hmm. is, is, will, will hold on to you and, and mm-hmm. help you yeah. through that and take you through that, that's how you know you got the right person. That's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And they, they don't see it. And then also, because a lot of men do this too, they'll see it and then use it and attack you with it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. They would try really? to, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know, and would just go yeah. there and then make the situation worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, how, so, so first, play how when you when, when at what point did you realize? Okay, he he sees this and he's 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 riding shotgun with me. Tell us how he kind of. Well, I mean, it was just it was of course early in the relationship, and I was like I said, I was going through trying to, and I still had my baggage, and mm. it was almost like. It, I basically was just a point where he, I saw that he could see that, and he told me, I can see your hurt, and he would just hold mm. me. Mm. And it's just his, his, his just, you know, him holding his comfort, his touch, it was mm-hmm. just help healing me. And then mm. I just had to decide, now, Marcy, you either going to trust this, this man or you're right. not. Because a lot of times, mm. you know, with me, you know, you know, sometimes you, you get something good, and it's like, this seems too good to be true. Mm-hmm. And then I would find mm-hmm. myself sabotaging things to say, no, yeah. I don't Ooh. deserve this. Let's talk about it. Ooh, go on. Go on, First Lady. But it that. was just, it was just. I got to a point like, now, yeah, this seems too good to be true. I mean, he's caring, he's loving, mm-hmm. he's kind. And, I mean, it was just like it's too good, but I had to decide. Mm-hmm. You either going to trust this mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. you're going to do something else. And I did find mm. myself kind of, kind of sabotaging still a little bit, and all. Mm-hmm. But at a point, but he kept on. He kept on being yeah. there for me. Wow. He kept on he calling didn't give me. Up. He, kept on, he mm-hmm. didn't give up. So I said, "Well, Marcy, mm-hmm. you just gonna have to make this decision." <laughs> you made so the decision, Marcy. I, I made, I made the decision. I had to talk mm-hmm. to myself. Yeah, <laughs> and that's the thing. <laughs> I, right I, had to talk to, I had, to, I had to talk to myself. And yeah. so I said, okay, well, this is what you're going to do. So you need to follow through. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it just it got, and once I did release release all that anxiety I had and release all mm-hmm. that, that fear, and that's all it was yeah. is fear. It's fear. Yeah. Once yeah. I released that, mm-hmm. it, was, it was like everything opened up. It was like, yeah. oh, okay, we can do this. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. But it was just, mm-hmm. you had to release that fear of giving yourself away to right. somebody mm-hmm. else. And, and someone mm-hmm. you can please don't hurt me. But yeah. yeah, that's just but that's part of life. You know, it's just yeah. because when you get hurt it's like you don't wanna oh, have to God. deal with that. Yeah. But you don't wanna be just, hurt again. No, you do like not. the same like how you were before. That's this, this right. is the this is the plight of all single women. We do not we are afraid of being because when we love, we love hard. And so when yeah. we hurt, we hurt hard. And so we yeah. are scared to death. <laughs> Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. want to hurt like that anymore. 
Some of us, yeah. oh, Jesus. Some of us yeah. get suicidal. Some of us don't, don't want to eat. Some mm-hmm. of us cannot function. And, you know what I'm Oh, right. being just hurt. A lot. Some just, of us going through depression. Because, yeah, it's you know, a lot. Oh, yeah, Lord. It's a, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Well, first, ladies, you know, we, yes. we, we, we're... <laughs> <laughs> Our time flies by when we're when we're here yeah. with the Christian Party Line. We've got about two or three minutes remaining. We just want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for sharing your pearls of wisdom for, with us. You know, thank you for all that you do and the example that you set. You know, and I know you say you stay in the background a lot, but you know, you you have really demonstrated tonight the power of a strong woman, a power of a strong Christian woman, a power of a helpmate mm-hmm. and what it means to be a helpmate. So we just thank you so very much for joining us. Know that you are welcome back anytime on the okay. Christian Party Line with Shay Sam, Chanel Lynn Malloy, Patrice Jackson, and yours truly. Uh, Chanel, I believe we're almost at uh, time to shut it down. Are we, are we good, Jerry? Batman? Hey, Batman we just enjoying the show. You're not paying me attention. I, I hear you. you. <laughs> I hear you. Well, I tell you what, let's take a quick song break, and um, and and you guys can and go ahead and do your round robin and um, close the show out. Sound good? Okay. Right. That sounds good. All right, first lady, don't go anywhere. <laughs> we'll be back okay. in a moment. This is Positive okay. Power Twenty One, the Christian Party Line with Shay Sam, Chanel, and Lloyd. Patrice Jackson, and yours truly, Paula G. Lady Wisdom. After midnight, we'll be back in a moment. You say that you have it under control. I say it's not easy on your. from that Don't take a bite from that apple tree. Don't take a bite from that apple tree. 
Feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of double XI. Positive Power 21.org Internet Radio. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, we are back. This is the Christian Party Line with our host, Nashe Sams. Shay Samuels, <laughs> Chanel Lynn Malloy, Patrice Jackson, and yours truly, Paula G. Lady Wisdom After Midnight. We just had a powerful conversation this evening with First Lady Marcia Kelly, and we thank her so much for joining us this evening. We thank you so much for, um, for her ministry this evening, and we just thank God for using her this evening to speak uh, to the hearts and the minds and the souls of not only the women that were listening, but also the men that were listening this evening. So before we close out, we just want to go around and uh, give everybody just a moment uh, for closing remarks. We'll start with Patrice, then Chanel, then myself, and then First Lady. Uh, hopefully she'll be back with us. I think we've got a disconnect there that she'll be back with us and give us her parting words and perhaps close us in prayer as well. So, Patrice? Well, I just want to um, tell everybody to have a wonderful weekend, and I want to thank um, um, First Lady Kelly um, um, for just blessing us with just your wisdom as well as and just, your wisdom and your experience in marriage and ministry. Um, I also want to say happy birthday to Jerry, because that's coming up. Yes. And everybody have a great and wonderful weekend. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my sister. And we'll be tuning in on Sunday, listening to your show. Thank you. All right. My sister Chanel, Lynn Malloy. Mm-hmm. Um... I also want to thank um, First Lady um, mm-hmm. Doctor Doctor uh, Kelly. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, she's she's man, my she blessed my soul. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, I wanted I just want to say um, that no matter. No matter what we go through in life, no matter how um, dark it may seem, no matter how hard the trial, no matter how big the mountain we have to climb, no matter what obstacles we face, no matter what struggles um, that we have to endure, um, I'd like to just say to be encouraged um, Mm -hmm. that God, he does, he causes all things to work together um, for our Good and just like what um, basically, you know, what um, First Lady Kelly um, was basically saying in a nutshell, what she encouraged me with pretty much, you know, is that letting go (laughs) Mm -hmm. and trusting God, you know, just let go and trust God, you know, when when we know that, you know, that it is God, when we can feel that peace and that security, um, that we can let go of, you know, our past and, you know, our past hurts and everything, that we can let go and, and really believe that that struggle is over. <laughs> mm-hmm. Amen. And that day is coming. Amen. Yes. Yes, and just to, you know, just to um, be encouraged and, and know that, you know, our relationships, whether it's husband and wife or a uh, significant other that perhaps one day will be husband and wife or, you know, any of our relationships, that they're constantly under attack because 
the enemy does not like to see um, relationships be successful. And I think she imparted so much wisdom on us this evening about just mm. the, the power of oneness, the woman's discernment, and, and, and the importance of, you know, praying over your husband, praying mm. over your man, the importance and the power of um, just a man holding a woman. Because nine times out of ten, gentlemen, you know, sometimes we, you know, might be kind of in our feelings, but sometimes it's just mm. fear. And if you just yep. hold on to us long enough, you just hold on to us long enough, um, mm. you know, that, that and, 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 and give us that comfort of knowing that, you know, you're there, you're not going anywhere, you got our back, you'll, you'll see that fear um, uh, dissolve, you'll see that fear dis- mm-hmm. uh, dissipate. So uh, we want to thank uh, First Lady for uh, joining us this evening. We thank Pastor Kelly also for uh, joining us, and we congratulate him once again on the Bible College, his accredited Bible College, Pastors Time International Bible College, and also I believe, Jerry, uh, tomorrow we're taking Saturday off, so there will be no uh, next man up. I'll let Jerry um, elaborate on that. And then First Lady, I believe, is back before he elaborates on that. We want to um, hear some closing remarks from our, from First Lady Marcia. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any closing uh, words of wisdom, closing remarks for us, and perhaps close us out in prayer? Um, well, I just have one just kind of like in just closing testimony. It's just for anybody who, you know, going through who are single women and, you know, you've been through maybe other relationships or something and you just you don't think that your person's out there they are my mother as a test quick testimony my mother is mm-hmm. 70 was 74 when she got remarried mm, go 74 on, <laughs> she was single for over 30 over 30 over 30 years Mm-hmm. She just knew that she was going to never find nobody else but the Lord mm-hmm. put somebody in her life and she is so happy Oh that's so, beautiful Amen. I'm just saying, so so it's never too late. Your your right person can come at any yeah. time in your life. So yeah, I know so that and that's a and that's a blessing, and I'm so happy for her. Mm. Mama, mama is mm. married. Yeah. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Thank you so much it for sharing is. that. Thank you so much. Well, before you close us in prayer, uh, Batman. Uh-huh. We want to wish you a happy birthday. We love you. We thank you for everything that you do. We hope you hope and pray, not hope. We pray that you have a wonderful, blessed birthday and that God blesses you exceedingly and abundantly beyond all that you could ever ask for. So we love you. Thank Batman. you. Batman, happy, thank happy you. birthday. Yes, yeah, happy birthday. Thank you, ladies. Yes. Love you guys, too. Yeah, that brings so love much you, joy. Love you. It brings so much joy to my heart and laughter. Amen. And laughter. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to say something to First Lady, too. Um, I, re- I really want to say thank you to First Lady because um, she allowed the dean to spend a lot of time uh, conversing <laughs> with the Batman. Uh, you she know, holds we, all that power. I know. And uh, we have and so much. Him free. We have let so much fun. You know, both of us have brothers, but it's like we... We bring a brotherhood together that's like, it's hard to explain. But we have a mm-hmm. great time every time we talk. And I really appreciate her yes, allowing know. him to, you know, uh, you know, the friendship that happened. I thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I'm glad that y'all are in your life. We appreciate you. Thank you. We appreciate you for, for being part of our life and being part of Pastor's Time. And you too, Paula. We just really thank you for, for just being part of Pastor's Time. Oh, and amen. just being part of our life, and, and all of y'all just being a part of our lives, the way you, you've you know interview, through interviews and talk talking mm-hmm. to you, we just thank you for everything that you you've done and and brought to our lives. This it's truly amen. been a blessing. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Across the nation. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, all right, first lady. Well, yeah, okay. I believe it is time to. Close us out in prayer and much love to Pastor as well. We thank him so much for, for joining us, and we'll be talking more about the Bible College in the days and weeks ahead. So thank you so much. Okay. Amen. All right. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. 
Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come with thanksgiving. Lord, we just thank you for just your many blessings. We just thank you for just keeping God in us and protecting us as you always has, Lord. Lord, we just add just a special touch on all of us, Lord. Lord, continue to touch, Lord. Continue to heal, Lord. Continue just to touch us in the way that you need, know that we need, Lord, even times when we don't even know. We thank you for your thank touch, you, Lord. We thank you for your comfort. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your encouragement that you give us, Lord. We thank you for the joy that you've given us, Lord. We thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord. We just thank you for the many blessings that, that you just keep giving us, even though we know don't deserve it, but we thank you anyway, Lord. And we thank you for the many blessings you're going to bestow upon us, even in our future, Lord. So we just want to say thank you. Lord, we just ask for forgiveness for anything that that is not good done in your sight, Lord. We ask you to remove those things so we can continue to have a better communication with you. We don't want anything blocking us from from you, Lord. So we just thank you for everything, Lord. Lord, just continue to touch the people that you have been touching, Lord. Continue to, to be there for the people, Lord. And let us be able to have be open and receive you as you have want us to receive your word and when we speak to other people lord let it be from you you. let it be a blessing to somebody else as you have blessed us lord these things we ask you son jesus name amen 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 Amen. Amen. first lady first lady i got one question for you i got one question for you first lady yes can you feel the power Yes, I can feel the power. Feel the power. <laughs> Patrice Jackson, can you feel the power? I can feel the power. Chanel Lynn Malloy, can you feel the power? I can feel the power. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Batman is the power. Right here on Top of the Power 21. This is Paula G, the voice, Lady Wisdom after midnight. Shouts out to Shay Sam, who has returned home safely, so we thank and praise God yeah. for her, and we know that she can feel the power. We thank you all so much for joining us. We love you. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. Good night. Good night. Amen. Good night. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on Positive Power with Double XI Christian Media. You can listen to the show again on Positive Power. That's right. Dot org. Positive Power. 21. Dot org. Check it out. All right, everybody. Thank you again. We hope everybody have a great weekend, a super weekend, and be safe out there. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power. A double X. The music we heard today on the show was by Shay Samuels called Seasons. And also we heard a new song called Don't Take a Bite from That Apple Tree by Dina, Dina Tisdale. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Be blessed. You're blessed called you blessed. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hey family, this is Paula G. Join us Fridays, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Late Night with Jerry Royce Live and Paula G. Right here on PositivePower21.org. I refuse to apologize. First in my life, you are everything that makes sense to me. Ever agree, you're the apple of my eye. Every day I'm walking by, cause I got you. Stop.